make a little video today and show you what my live rig looks like because I play to a whole crowd of like four people sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, here's the YouTube thumbnail. All right, we got two amps. This one down here is the Acoustic BA-10. I think I made a video about this forever ago. This one is just clean, cut and dry. The only effect it gets is the wah from my Line 6, but all it does is just play the sweet low notes. <laughs> That's all it does, it just needs to be there and shake the floor. Now up here we have a PV Basic 112, and this had the speaker completely blown out when I got it for free from someone, so I put a, whatever this is, like a Celestion or whatever the hell they call it. I'll figure it out, I'll put it on screen. Now you might be wondering, you fucking idiot, why you got a 12 inch woofer for live sound? All this one does is the effects. I don't care if this one's rumbling, I usually roll the bass all the way off and just let this one conquer the high notes. So this one really just sounds like So this one's not very good at high range, this one's not very good at low range unless you're in a small room. So together, they complement each other. But that's the boring part. Let's go to the effects. That's the real fun. Damn, faux free! Psych, I'm gonna wear socks. So here's what my terrible pedal board looks like. Let's go over it individually. So over here we have a Line 6 bass pod. Wow, I taped all the knobs so it doesn't get jostled because people are stupid and like to kick my stuff when I'm playing. All this thing really does is A, manage the pedal board so I have a wah and volume pedal. And it's just got some presets for my two basses so I can just quickly go whoop! So I have stuff preset like auto wah. But for the most part, all it does is have a bit of EQ, it runs the compressor, and that's about it. And then from there, I've got one of these Donner ABY pedals, and all this fella is doing is taking the signal from my Line 6, splitting it into the pedal board, and then this one goes off to the acoustic amp. Wow. Anyways, who cares about that? Look at this smorgasbord of pedals. I'm a bass player, why do I have this many, you might be asking, you, you idiot. Because it's fun. That's why. I'll tell you what, we'll go and order the signal chain. How's that sound, you dweebs? So I've just got basic wah. And then just basic volume swelling. Easy enough, right? First in the chain is this Donner octave pedal. It's called like the square, the harmonic square, that's what it is. And all I have that doing is being an octave up just kind of lightly for certain funk songs. That's the funk song I call that one, idiot retard. Anyways, get that out of here. Up next is my distortion bank. Now you can see I have three because I'm stupid, right? This first one is just a vintage overdrive K-Mys and it's kind of on their light because some songs I like to just have a little bit of gravel underneath. Not very. It's very light. It's very subtle. And that's all I want it for. Up next, we have this Donner Stylish Fuzz. And it's my favorite pedal because instead of sustain, it's written bus stain on this pedal. <laughs> I don't use this one all that often, but there is one song that we play live where I'm running this and everybody else is clean. And every once in a while I'll use it with the wah, just maybe if I have to throw in a solo or something. <laughs> Up next is a crowd favorite, <laughs> the Boss Metal Zone MT2. You're probably wondering, you actual retard, what are you doing? Now this pedal is the mean one. What I mean by that is I have a few songs where I actually do bass solos that are supposed to just completely thunder through the whole crowd. So I use this guy. So I have one that's like... It 
doesn't sound like an offensive toilet full of bees. My inspiration is almost trying to get it to sound like the Harvey Danger bass. <laughs> However you play flagpole sitta, <laughs> I just wanted it to be this like very loud but not offensive distortion. This one works awesome with the wah. And then up here, this is just a K-Mize roll boost. Really all that does is let me boost my distortion chain. Just in case I need to get above the guitar players when they decide to turn all their knobs way up. Now we're moving on to the fun, wacky effect, which consists of this Boss CE2 Black Label Japanese pedal, my favorite pedal on the whole board. I use this on a lot of songs just because I'm an absolute sucker for that like 80s The Cure sound. So we have a song where this runs the whole time and the intro goes something like... the bass to make it sound a lot more lively and full, I guess, however you want to word that. And then next to it is this vintage phase, which I really only use for a song or two. We have a song where like the, the opening lyrics is she gets high, so of course during the verses I like to turn this thing on just to go. Just to kind of give it a psychedelic sound, you know, and then, and then I just kick it off for the main part of the song. Whatever, this is... Nobody gives a shit. All right, and then now it snakes up to here. This is a K Mize tremolo. So I don't really use this thing other than the beginning of a certain song where it has this really choppy bass. So I just go. Which when I have this rig cranked all the way up, it sounds awesome. Anyways, that's just kind of hanging out there. Now we come over to my ambient section of the board. So I have two analog delays. <laughs> One is a rogue. <laughs> This is actually not a bad pedal. This is a Rogue analog delay. We have a K-Mize analog delay. Down here we have the Verb Square, I think it's called. Donner, like seven different reverbs all in one. And then we have a Freeze pedal. So I use this way more than you'd think I would with a bass, right? <laughs> so these two I usually use in conjunction with each other. If I want just a cut and dry delay, I'll use the Rogue. <laughs> But because I'm a lunatic, I'll run them in conjunction with each other and go like... So they kind of bounce off each other. So the song starts in E, but I'll run these two and just play different like... And then there's another song where I actually use both of these, plus the reverb set on church, that's where I keep it, and the volume. And I just create this big swelling thing that, that's really cool because everybody shuts up when they start hearing it. just sit there and swell that a couple times until the guitar player comes in. Now I've also got this freeze pedal, which comes in handy a ton. I use this thing way more than I thought I ever would. So going back to that song, I'll freeze D so I can solo over the top of it until we're ready to play the song. So I'll go like... And just noodle around like that. 
And then when we get to the end of the song, I'll go. And I'll just leave this ringing because the next song is in D. And then I can just choke it off as soon as the guitar player starts. This thing's just awesome. I love the freeze pedal. And last but not least, I have a loop station. I don't really use this at all, honestly. <laughs> It's just there if I want to start something between songs, if we're like, okay, we need to kill some time because the guitar player has to scratch his butthole, so I can go like... some little ambient whatever you want to call it and really that's about it and then there's other combos too like I have a song where I kind of ended up having a bass solo instead of guitar solo so I'll be running this I'll be running the metal zone and the wah <laughs> Whatever the hell that solo is, I don't even remember how to play it now, great. But you get the general idea. So anyways, there you go. That's my live rig right now. There's some other stuff. We use a telephone as a microphone. That I built. If you want to watch it, I'll throw the video up at the end. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been doing a lot of the Shock Hazard Corner videos that I used to do on this channel. I moved them to another channel, so if you're interested in that, I'll put the link at the end, too. Uh, I do those weekly, just for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya!